Hello guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to see pandas data frame dot sq function. So before we dive into it, let's see what is pandas. Pandas is an open source Python library that is built on top of NumPy library. Pandas enables us to use Python programming language for efficient data analysis. Pandas helps us in cleaning and preparing data for various analytical purposes. Pandas can work well with variety of data sources like SQL files, Excel sheets, CSV files, and many others. Now let's see what is data frame. Data frame is a two-dimensional heterogeneous data structure with labeled axes. For data analysis, we store our data in Pandas data frame. Pandas data frame has various built-in methods, which helps us to perform various operations on our data. And data frame.sq function is one of those. Now let's see what this function does. Pandas data frame.sq function return an unbiased skew over the requested axis. The skewness is normalized by n minus 1. Skewness is a measure of the asymmetry of the probability distribution of a real value random variable about its mean. So skewness is basically asymmetry in statistical distribution of any data. Hi guys, so now we are going to see the implementation of data frame.sq function. I'm using Jupyter Notebook to execute my Python programs. If you're using any other platform or tools, it is fine. So first, we will import pandas library as pd. We are using a CSV file here. If you want access to this CSV file, refer to the geeks for geeks article on dataframe.sq function. The link is mentioned here. I'm going to go ahead and import this file and read it into a data frame. Let's visualize the data frame. So this is what our data frame looks like. It is 458 rows and nine columns. Now we'll find a skewness along the index axis. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run this line. So as you can see, for each numerical columns in the data frame, the function has found its skewness. Skewness is nothing but the asymmetry in a statistical distribution of the data. Now we can also find skewness along the rows. And also we're going to skip any missing values along the rows. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this line. So as you can see, the function has returned the skewness for each row. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.